Welcome to Reagan's Rants and Raves. My name is Ellie. I'm your hostess with the mostest. And today we'll be ranting about, bitching about, maybe even eating ass about. Maybe. You know, <laughs> as a with, treat. With this movie, I think it kind of goes with. Probably. 2000's scary movie. If you have not seen this movie yet, I don't care. I'm going to talk about it anyways. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and listen to us talk about this fucking comedy, not even a horror piece of a fucking movie. Yeah, definitely more comedy than horror. So, Alec, how has our week been? Uh, oh, wow. Our week has been... Keep in mind, this is March 13th. This is a Friday the 13th. Yeah. Uh, very excited. It's a very eventful week for the nation. It has, yeah. I don't know when this will be uploaded. So maybe we'll all be dead by the time it could, know that yeah, happened. Probably. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh... Yeah, but uh, we you you decided, you know what? Pro I don't want to watch a really horror movie today, with everything going on. So, because we're we're kind of living in a horror state. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. After it all clears up, we'll talk about Contagion. But uh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> or quarantine, or quarantine. Um, but but right right now we're, we we want to keep things a little light. Um, I think it's good for everyone. Yes. Yeah. So why not sit here and talk about scary movie? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Well, uh, when we talked about Scream uh, a couple months ago now, yeah, I told you that I was more familiar with its parody than with the actual movie, and you said I hate you. I still do. <laughs> yeah. uh, that being said, this was my first time watching this movie in a few years. Yes, it um, had definitely been. It been a moment. Yeah. It, it it it's one of those movies you just kind of turn on. Because there's nothing else to turn on on Netflix, and then you just focus on something else. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a very dated movie as well. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking very dated movie with some of the jokes they were saying. They're yeah. dropping the fucking N word. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, this was uh, written by uh, the the Wayans uh, and directed by Keenan Wayans. Yeah. Um, but uh, there there are definitely a lot of jokes that just. You wouldn't really see too often today. There's so many gay jokes. Um, oh my god! Yeah, d definitely a lot of homophobia in there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know about homophobia per se, but definitely poking a bear. Yeah, like I think so. Because <laughs> you can definitely tell that fucking Ray. Yeah. Yeah, you know which like, team he. Yeah, there's he plays on. There's a whole subplot. Um, of him acting gay and doing uh, perceivedly gay, gay things, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it, tur it turns out he's at the end. He says he's not gay uh, when Bobby says that he's gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> but we made love. Listen, you suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, that makes it okay. Yeah. So uh, a lot of dated humor, but if, if you can look past it, oh, it's man. pretty enjoyable. Uh, but but some of the real dated stuff. Like, this movie, it was shot in the late 90s, released in 2000. It is so fucking deep in 90s culture. And, and a little bit of early 2000s. Yeah. But, like, the peak of early 2000s. Yeah. Man. I mean... And this is this has five movies that follow it, right? A scary movie? It, it, yeah, this is... I think it's five. This is a whole franchise if you don't count the like epic movie and disaster movie which and... just kind of cash in on the movie spoof i guess would yeah. they be in the same like universe i guess maybe mm. would they i i wouldn't i wouldn't do say that um because I eventually don't... at some point like the scary movies start encompassing movies that are kind of disaster movies anyway well, who the fuck makes those Oh, that's a whole separate team, actually. That um, makes, like, the, like disaster the disaster movie, movie and the epic movie. And that one Twilight one, whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah. Uh, remember that? Vampires suck. Man. And there's also Meet the Spartans and... The, yeah, those kind of movies. Yeah. Th those are uh, those are a whole separate team of hacks. But this was the uh, the original parody movie. No, but this kind of re restarted the parody trend for... Spaceballs for horror. Yeah. Um... Airplane, as well. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, airplane. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't uh, even think about to mention that. <laughs> uh, even um, yeah. Th th this this movie kind of restarted the whole spoof trend 
for the turn of the millennium. And whether or not you you think that's a bad thing, it, it's it's not around anymore. So we can no. actually like look back and talk about it. Uh, but that's a, that's probably a, a larger part of a larger trend of just comedy movies in general kind of dying out recently. Um, Man. Yeah. I, I guess they really don't make spoof movies like that anymore. No, they don't. And I never, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, you, you don't really see just straight, you know, this was a big movie. We're going to make a We're gonna movie that's a dedicated bit. to just fucking around with it and joking about it. Well, they fucked around with a lot of things. They did. Well, two main things. So it was Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. Have mm-hmm. you seen both of those movies, Alec? I've seen Scream. Have you never seen I Know What You Did Last Summer? Never. So, The Goddess Among Us, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Mm -hmm. was in Fuck Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, No, not Fuck Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Huge Tits. If you can. (laughs) Go for it. If you can, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love I Know What You Did Last Summer because it's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad that I love it so much. Do you ever have those movies? Uh, I, you could argue that all of my favorite movies are those movies. I think so. <laughs> but, I, I think so. Uh, I would disagree. But, um, as for movies that I, I just, like, I know this is shit, but I enjoy watching it. Like, this is one of those movies, scary movie. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily shit, because it's not intent. You, they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's, it's very self-aware. Yeah. Um, so, and, I don't uh, even know if I would put it as camp either. Like, it, it's just a parody movie. Yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. But I, I, don't, I wouldn't call it shit. Mm-hmm. Even, some of the jokes are really smart. Some of the jokes are really dumb. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cum jokes, you know. Yeah. Shit like that. That I forgot about entirely. Because <laughs> I hadn't seen this movie in a very long time mm. until we were just kind of like, look up for something. I mean, uh, I, I think one of my best jokes, it's it's, uh, it's a black joke. Um, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> the script is written by black people. It, it's directed by a black man. Um, so, like, it's kind of weird because some of these jokes could be perceived as offensive. And they prob- they're probably written to be that. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to remember who's making the, these jokes. So, who's making these actors say these things? Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, one of my favorite jokes, it's uh, when the press is at the school right after the first death in the movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, they're, like, doing this pan shot uh, through all of the vans of the news media. And you get to, like, BET News. <laughs> Speaking for black television right now, white women are dead. We're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> And then that gets followed up shortly by uh, Shorty being interviewed by the press. What would have been your last just words to her? Interview some idiot, and yeah. then he shows up. Yeah. What would have been your last words to her? Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> <laughs> what else has Carmen Electra done? Uh, Carmen Electra has done like I would say at least half of all the spoof movies made between 2000 and 2010. Um, besides that. I love the early 2000s, and I love the 90s, but I don't, I could not fucking tell you what else she has done. Yeah. Besides just being Carmen Electra in stuff. I mean, her you know top I mean? four films on uh, IMDb are Scary Movie 4, Okay. Meet the Spartans, oh Epic God. Movie, and Scary Movie. But what, what did she do <laughs> to make her famous? That's what I'm... Oh, well, uh, I think she was discovered by Prince, bartending... Uh, in like a, a Hooters, I think. Okay. Yeah. So she's, she's stupid hot. I just, know. I never fucking, cause I know why Paris Hilton's famous. You know, those quote unquote, the why taunts. are you famous? Yeah. People. Yeah. Like Kim Kardashian. I know why the fuck she's famous. Hmm. Um, Lindsay Lohan. Well, you she, know. she had a she whole career. A, she had a whole career and yeah. then she became a different kind of famous. Yeah. But, uh, I still love her. I, I think the story with Carmen Electra, is that she was discovered by Prince, so then she become like a became like a background dancer for him. Okay. And uh, from there, did... I, she had a workout. She had a workout tape. Mm-hmm. I do know that, or not workout tape, because I guess it would have been a DVD by that point. Yeah. But anyways, she had like that entire thing, <laughs> and it was striptease. Yeah. Was she in Playboy? I think she did Playboy. Of course, too. she was in Playboy. She she was hot. 
God. Yeah. If you were hot and existed between 1970 and 2010, you were in Playboy. You want to hear something really fucked up about my life? Yes. I know that we're, we're completely veering off of the subject, but when I was like eight, I watched a show called The Girls Next Door. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I've, I, ever since then, I wanted to be in Playboy. Wow. I was eight, Alec. That's not okay. I think that's how Drew Barrymore did it on the set of E.T. She found a Playboy magazine and was like, I want to do this. Jesus. <laughs> and then she got yelled at by Steven Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... She's a she's a natural treasure. I'm just trash. She is. So. Oh, I never even noticed that joke before. That Drew Barrymore was in Playboy, so they got another Playboy bunny to play the Drew Barrymore character in this yep. movie. Yeah. And they also named her fucking Drew. Yeah. <laughs> in, this, in this movie. Yeah. Oh my god. So let's go down. I guess the list of actors. Yeah. So we have. Anna Faris. Anna Faris. Ah. Uh. Top build is Carmen Electra. Just like Drew Barrymore yeah. was when you're in it for 0.5 fucking seconds. It's funny. Yeah. I don't know if they did that because of that. I, th- I think that was all part of the joke. I yeah. hope so. Uh, but uh, Anna Ferris, I've, I've been in love with Anna Ferris be- my whole life because of these movies. Oh, yeah. And and she's a fucking baby in this movie, too. She's a child. Yeah. I think. Uh, like, like, you know, they, they make a joke about, you know, High schoolers in movies being played by 20 and 30 year olds, and they're all 20 and 30 year olds. But Anna Ferris actually looks like a she teenager. She actually does look like a child. Yeah. She, she looks so little in those movies. Yeah. I noticed, okay, so we all know that she was in House Bunny, right? Mm-hmm. When did that change? Like, when did she become blonde? Oh, uh, well, she was black haired for the first two scary movies. Yeah. And then in Scary Movie 3, she was blonde. I don't know if there was something between that. I think it was to make her look more like Cindy Prescott. Is she naturally blonde? I think so, right? Uh, pro- probably. I mean, like, all of her press photos are blonde, so... But her lips are different and all that And, like, that's stuff. definitely not, like, a natural black hair in that movie no. either. No, so. no, no. You definitely tell. Yeah. I don't know. It's just that when somebody pointed... Okay. When House Bunny first came out. Mm-hmm. I love that movie. Still. Um... It's a solid movie. So he pointed out, that's Anna Ferris, And I'm like, what? Because you remember her from fucking these movies. Yeah. You, I can't tell. Again, House Bunny is, she was made to look like fucking Princess Barbie doll. Yeah. So. Like, I mean, the only reason I wanted to see House Bunny was because Anna Ferris was in it. Oh, um, man. She looked like a fucking smoke show in that movie, too. Mm, Not uh, that she doesn't in every other movie that she's in. Right. But... But that there was a concerted effort to make her look Jesus, yeah, like could stop traffic, <laughs> and and did several times on the movie, I believe. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Bobby, who's John Abram Abrahams Abraham 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 John Abrahams is Bobby. Yeah. There we go. What uh, the fuck has he done? Because that uh, face is so recognizable. This is his most well-known movie. Damn it. Uh, he was also in House of Wax uh, and yeah. Meet the Parents. But other than that, it's mostly it TV roles. So, Maybe uh, House of Wax I'm recognizing him from. It's the Paris Hilton House of Wax, right? Uh, 2005. Yeah, so Paris so, Hilton. Yeah, Paris Hilton. Yeah. Uh, recently, he was on uh, Stumptown. So I haven't watched that. Play. I don't. I haven't either. Yeah. Uh, we've got Marlon Wayans as Shorty. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Yeah. They, no matter what the fuck they do, even the uh, haunted house. You know, like those movies that yeah. just recently came out. I guess recently, maybe yeah. it was like five years ago. But always funny. Yeah. Always fucking funny. And Shorty's Shorty, the character of Shorty in this movie. Is probably one of the more memorable characters, oh, hell just because yeah. he's so cartoonishly, stereotypically the offensive. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> like uh, during the uh, "I Know What You Did Last Summer" flashback. Oh shit! It's Shorty. Go distract him, Brenda. And it's the Cadillac pulling up, and you can't see through the windows. There's so much fucking you smoke. Hot box the yeah. hell out of it. <laughs> and. He's always trying to like peel his lips back so that his teeth are sticking out. Yep. He's always like wheeze laughing. Uh, half of his hair is missing. He's just got that weird fro cut. Yep. Um, half, his eyes are always halfway shut. Yeah. 
And and one of the more more dated jokes in the movie is the wazab scene. Oh my <laughs> fuck! Now I want anybody to comment. What the fuck do they know that that's from? I I think that was a Burger King ad mm-hmm. back then. Yeah. Um, but I growing up, I always knew because of this movie. Jesus. Yeah. And then Burger King brought it back last year for a little bit, and because uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. But uh, despite it being so dated, I I still couldn't help myself from laughing at it last night. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, one, I knew the fuck it was coming. Yeah. And you all, that's such an iconic... Hello, shorty. What are you doing? Nothing. Just chilling. (laughs) (laughs) What's up? What's up? And it's like a whole, like, two-minute little bit. Yeah, and it does nothing to further the plot, not that the plot fucking matters no, in this movie. No, the plot doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> but, the plot was bought by fucking just, two different movies yeah. that just mashed in together and made a child. The movie just stops for a couple minutes just so we can have this gag. <laughs> I never Like, I think it's just to make it funny that the killer befriends these stoners for a little bit because yes. then he like actually parties with them later in the movie yeah they're like oh buddy yeah. buddy and whatnot <laughs> yeah <laughs> son of a bitch okay and then we have regina hall who plays brenda who's in a shit ton of these movies oh yeah she's in every single scary movie i think now she's in tyler Perry movies i think i've seen her in probably i mean uh she's a comedic actress so that wouldn't surprise me trying to find her imdb page right now She's, there you are. She's done. She's done a shit ton, actually. She just did that movie with Queen Latifah. Oh, what the fuck was that? Girl Strip. Yeah. She did Girl Strip. I she, actually liked that movie. She was in the recent Shaft movie, which I heard good things about. Uh, I think her most dramatic role might have been Law Abiding Citizen in 2009. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she was also about. in The Hate You Give, which was a brilliant yeah. movie a couple years ago. 2018, yeah. the gift came out. Yeah, I got to see that, it, and it was great. Um, she's done she's done a shit ton of stuff, and she's actually a really amazing actress that yeah. nobody nobody seems to look at that much anymore. But the uh, the running gag with her in uh, the scary movie franchise is that she's kind of the the series Kenny. She dies in every single one. In every single fucking <laughs> one. She is their Kenny. Yeah. I never I never thought about that. Yeah. Like like it's kind of funny with Scary Movie 2 because most of the cast comes back even after they die. Yeah. Um but she's the only one that returns after that with Anna Faris. Uh and Anna Faris has never died in these movies. No. <laughs> that yeah, that was kind of so, so like in this one she's the the loud, obnoxious black person that gets killed in the movie theater. Jesus. Uh, yeah, and then in the second one, I forget how she dies in the second one. Probably during the Charlie's Angels scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't remember. It's yeah. been so long since we've since I've seen the second one. Yeah. Uh, in the third one, she gets killed by uh, Samara. Ring. Yeah. Yeah. Early was, on in the movie. Yeah, she got killed by Samara. <laughs> that whole fight is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> this bitch love- is dripping water all over your carpet. <laughs> 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 like there are some absolute gems of comedy in these movies. Just and then and no. some of them from her alone. Oh yeah, she's so fucking funny in her delivery. Like I think she's definitely. I think what, what, the reason they keep bringing her back is because she's definitely one of the strongest comedic performers in these movies yes she is like she, the, she's one of those pillars that the the comedy stands on from something that i've noticed is that cindy is very not that she isn't very funny but she she knows what she's there for she's like the sane one and that everybody bounces off of her yeah and kinda. that's how you get your comedy yeah she's the one who keeps the plot moving and then everybody else is just kind of there to make sure yeah. everything's staying funny, I guess, is I, the best. I, I I think that's a very a very good uh, observation. Not that she's like, not funny. She does have her moments. Yeah, she's still Anna Ferris. Yeah. Like like kind of ditzy, kind of oblivious. Um very hopeful in this yeah. movie. But she is kind of the straight man in every one of these movies. Yeah. Uh so yeah, I th- I think that's a really good observation. Uh it's just you get to a point in the, these movies where you get Charlie Sheen pre Tiger Blood. Uh, oh, <laughs> I love that! And then the old Playboy bunnies are in his bed. Yeah, because <laughs> you have Kendra, you have Holly, and then you have uh, fucking Bridget. Yeah, all in his bed. 
Yeah, I watched that whole episode of uh, The Girls Next Door when they were on that show. Yeah. Or on that. But, um... On that TV. Or, fuck, movie. M- more on the the first scary movie. So, it, it keeps the twist from uh, Scream. Mm-hmm. But, it, but it adds a little bit onto that as well. Like, it's not just a cut and dry... No, because it also what? adds shit from I Know What You Did Last Summer. Yeah. Which is where Shannon Elizabeth comes in as the Buffy character. Motherfucker. <laughs> I love Shannon Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. I love her because of fucking Jane Silent Bob. I love her because, um, fuck. Right. American Pie. Like, she's, she's golden. Shannon Elizabeth has done a fucking lot. And she's always, even now, still hot. I don't know if anybody's seen the rebo- reboot yet. But it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. You should see the reboot. It's well, on Amazon. Well, uh, she's in it with the scream twist. The the two killers, the two friends who are killers. It's uh, it's Ray and Bobby. Yeah, who also reveal their relationship of yes. sorts. I guess and, more on Bobby's part than Ray's part. Uh, but and the whole the whole reason why he's fucking. Killing everybody is because he's gay and wants to escape. Yeah. Lack of sex. <laughs> you weren't fucking me, so I became a homosexual. And the whole reason Ray is killing everybody is because they canceled the Wayne's Brothers show. <laughs> Which is fantastic. <laughs> one of the best jokes in the movie. They're in every every one of them, I think, too. Right? Uh, I know they're in the second, I thought. Yeah, they're in the second, but I think the, se- the second movie is where their involvement stops. Actually. Really? Yeah, it's different writers from that point on, and I don't even think they uh, they appear in in acting roles in those movies afterwards. Um, but uh, then there's another twist that there was a third killer, and it's so dumb. <laughs> but it's it's the David Arquette character from Scream. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, the guy they got for this character for Doofy. When he's got the mustache and when he's, you know, trying to look mentally handicapped like that, he looks exactly like David Arquette. Another thing that you wouldn't get away with now. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. A lot, a lot of ableism. I went poopy. You, 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 you went poop? Yeah, it was good. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh. I don't know how much hate we're going to get from this fucking episode just because of that. Alone, yeah. and we're laughing at him. But <laughs> again, if you if you can look past it and look at its age and understand that it's not okay, remember the time. Yeah, <laughs> just remember the time that it came out. <laughs> yeah, uh, but just uh, for years, I thought that actually was David Arquette. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. Like, like that's how good that mustache and facial expressions worked for me. No. Like, it wasn't until a few years ago, just looking through it and, where the fuck is David Arquette? And then, then finding completely different dude. It was a uh, the usual suspect's twist at the end, too, because it came out in 2000 and they yeah. didn't do that. So, yeah. <laughs> and then he rode away with, oh my god, she's on SNL, what the fuck is her name? Well, her character's name is Gail Hailstorm. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, Sherry O'Terry. Yeah. O'Te- right, that's how you say her name? Uh, that's how I'm gonna say her name. Right? It's, yeah. I think that's how you pronounce that. She's fantastic. She's a fantastic fucking comedian. Mm. Holy shit. If you ever see that era of SNL, it's perfect. She, like, she fucking, oh my god. The cheerleader shit. Yeah. With Will Ferrell. It's the best. See, I, I love how uh, this movie did the Cindy Prescott punching the reporter scene in this movie. You a fat ass! <laughs> <laughs> um, but watching this movie for the first time in a few years, <laughs> like, it still tries to work as its own mystery. Yeah. And, like, there's still plants throughout even though they are pretty obvious like doofy turning around with the mask and knife saying cindy it's me (laughs) 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 but like even uh gail hailstorm her first appearance in the movie at the uh the press junket at the school yeah uh a killing spree left one teen dead and there's some teen teenager behind her just trying to be a camera hog and she gets tired turns around and shoots him two teens dead (laughs) 
Like, <laughs> she's a killer now. She's one of the killers now. <laughs> that, that or she's going to be working with the killer. Um, stuff like that. Like, just throwaway jokes little, that still little work plants. for the mystery. Yeah. What do you... I, this one's my favorite. Everybody likes the second one the most. Ooh, I'm not sure I would say that. I, I think the second one was just shown too often on TV for me to really get too Everyone much enjoyment Everyone I know likes it. Yeah. Likes that one over the first one. I love the first one the, out of all of the, I well, think, of, five or four. Of course you do, because Scream is your favorite movie. And It's not yeah. my favorite fucking movie, but it's up there. Yeah. But yeah. But also Tim Curry's in the fucking second one. That he is. Man, with the nipples and shit. Like, he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Tim Curry can do no wrong. It's true. It's very true. Yeah. No. Like, I never met a person who hated Tim Curry. It's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, May the coronavirus never touch him. See, now you've put that, that energy on the world and like, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna fire back on you. Holy shit. As yeah. soon as this gets posted. Remember, this is March 13th. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying this right now. Um... My favorite scary movie. I think there's a total of five of them now. I'm pretty I, fucking I could, sure. Could, Jesus could, Christ. Yeah. Yeah, There's. it goes up to scary movie five. Uh, I think just because, like, it was the one that kind of introduced me to the series, I'm going to go with scary movie three. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, again, it... Oh, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> <laughs> again, it introduced me to the series... Uh, it does a lot of great stuff with uh, Shyamalan's signs. Oh my god. Yeah, which I hope we get to cover someday. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. We'll do a Shyamalan month. Uh, a Shyamalan-month. Shyamalan, Shyamalan. But The Ring is one of my favorite horror movies too. Mm -hmm. So I do love those moments. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. And they, they've got some great jokes with that too. Um, oh my god. Brilliant jokes with that. Like Cindy trying to speak Japanese. And like... It's when she's they, blonde. They, yeah. They're both speaking gibberish. Jay but... McCarthy and Pamela Anderson in the first fucking scene. Yeah. Yeah. Two very hot ladies. Yeah. Fucking, what is their obsession with Playboy, by the way? I'm just realizing that now. I, I don't know what to tell you. So many people. It, it, you, got, you got to put hot ladies in your comedy. And they're all in Playboy. Yeah. I love the early 2000s. Son of a bitch. The juicy jumpsuits... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Even though a uh, scary movie it was the start of the 2000s, but still. Yeah. But I, still. I think the, the single scene joke that dates this movie the most out of anything. Oh, no. The Matrix at the end. Like, yeah, like, I guess so. Like the movie had just come out the year before in 1999 and... Everybody had to have a bullet time sequence for the next 10 years. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, when you revolutionize filmmaking like that. There is no truer statement than I think you've ever fucking said. <laughs> yeah. But the, first they do like slow-mo kung fu with the circle around panning shot. Yeah. And and then, then, then they do a stupid like Irish river dancing while hovering joke. And then they do bullet time, and it doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> no, but I don't think it's supposed to. It's supposed to look stupid because you know what it it looks stupid. Yeah, yeah, it looks <sighs> stupid then. It looks stupid now, and then it's, it's just I, I I never I never remember laughing at that joke like ever in my entire life. Like I'm only laughing at it now because of how fucking dated it is. I yeah, think. when we went yeah. back and watched it, you laughed so hard. <laughs> Yeah. There was a bunch of jokes that were like that. There were so period. Yeah. That, I can't believe I'm saying period. It was the fucking 2000s. It's, this movie came out 20 years ago. Jesus! Yeah. Oh my god. If my math is correct, 2020 minus 2000 is 20. Yeah. <laughs> this movie came out on July 7th, 2000. So com coming up on that anniversary. Holy shit. You guys can't see this, but I'm shaking my head. Oh solemnly. my god. <laughs> we were four when this movie came out. <laughs> yeah, we were. I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> the dark times. 
Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I remember this movie. I remember this being one of the first, like, hee-hee comedy movies that I had seen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this was up there with, like, National Lampoon's movies. And, like, they were there were movies that, like, my cool cousins had that I it would was watch. Awesome and, yeah, and sometimes there were boobs in them. Yeah. 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 This was one of the ones... Yeah. But, so, like, you watch them because... You're not yeah. really supposed to watch them. Exactly. But... And, like, you understand some of the jokes, and the jokes you don't understand, everyone else is still laughing, so you think they're funny, too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, a lot of the shit I would not have gotten. Like, again, I watched it as a grown-ass adult. Uh, holy shit. I laughed so hard because I got every... Everything. Everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm picking up everything that they're putting down, and sweet lord... Is this movie fucking... Every scene, there is just something. Yeah. Something to fucking laugh at. Comedy-wise, this movie is not stale. No. Uh, for the most part, at least. For the most part. Yeah. Some of them are a little bit like, come on, man. Yeah, but 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 then you get some like really great sequences, like uh, when Buffy is being killed in the, the locker room. Yep. And, oh, are we playing Mr. Scary Killer now? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I guess this is the part where I run... And she's just uh, being a sarcastic dick about it the whole time. Yeah. She's being murdered. And she breaks her own leg and is still being a sarcastic dick about it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I love Shane Elizabeth. Yeah. Holy shit. I I think she gets some of the the best scenes in the movie. She really does. Because, like, there's that. uh, There's uh, the scene where she watches Greg die from the balcony while she's in the pageant. Yep. (laughs) Um... And Guys, it, watch I Know What You Did Last Summer, please. Fuck. It's a it's a it's a good it's a good bad movie. It's a good bad. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's one of the horror movies that you would kinda have to see. Mm-hmm. But it's not like fantastic by any means of the word, but you still gotta see it. Man. Can't wait for the day that you, you show that to me. Oh, and, it'll be soon. Yeah. The days are coming. I am not looking forward to that. Anything that Sam Michelle Geller does, I'm there for. You just wait till we talk about the original Buffy. Like like the movie? Yeah. Oh. Rest in peace, Luke Perry. Oh. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah. I'm sad now. Look at that, you made yourself sad. Yeah, I was already sad. This is a fucked up week. Yeah. That's why we're talking about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> All in all, I love this movie. Yeah, I mean, it. it if, if you can look past all the uh, the stuff that isn't PC by today's standards, and nothing wrong with that either. Like, I just got to put it out there. Respect people. Like, I, I believe in that. But if you can look past the humor that isn't really appropriate by today's standards, like, it's still pretty enjoyable. Yeah. 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 There, There's, there's definitely some fucking... Very questionable humor in there. But I also have such a dark sense of humor that a yeah. lot of th- fucked up things make me laugh. And I don't know how okay that is. Like, the, like the worst jokes are probably everything having to do with Doofy. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's some slut-shaming jokes in there, too. Yeah. But I laugh at those, and I've been slut-shamed more times than I'm yeah. willing to talk about. <laughs> but they still make me laugh, so yeah. I don't know. But, uh... That, uh, that's, that's scary movie. Like, I, I don't really have anything too deep to say about this. No, there isn't. <laughs> it's not a deep fucking movie. No. It's a fantastic movie. It's on Netflix, by the way. Everybody has a Netflix account or you've stolen one. Yeah. So please go fucking watch this movie. If you haven't seen it in a long time, just sit down, get some friends, or get really drunk alone and watch it. Fuck. Is it fantastic? It's so good. <laughs> Please drink responsibly. Oh my god. <laughs> such a good movie. It's such a good, uh, like, a hor- not not a horror movie, but horror-adjacent movie that you can sit there and watch and not think about anything else, but just it being funny. Mm. Now I like that. Kind of takes you out of some bullshit. Yeah. So. Turn your brain off. Enjoy it. Uh, I give this movie... On the Screaming Peach scale, a 6 out of 10. Oh. It's such a hard movie to judge. Yeah. I, w- I was going to say 5 out of 10 just because The Matrix. Uh, but but I decided to 
ignore that and give it a six. It's a hard movie to judge because it's supposed to be... Like, it's not supposed to be a, a great... No. Anything, you know. So, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Because, one, I don't like to agree with you on stuff. <laughs> I know. It sucks when we, we record a month's worth of episodes and we agree on half of it. And it sucks. <laughs> uh, Where's the friction? The drama? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Uh, no, because it's so funny. Yeah. And I love all the horror humor. Because I make for fun of horror movies relentlessly. Mm. Because I'm allowed to. I've earned it. And I don't know. This movie does it right. I yeah. I can't judge all the other scary movies. But if you want to hear us judge all of the other scary movies, please comment down below. Yes. And tell us. Or if you have another horror movie you would like for us to watch, please comment down below and tell us. Yeah. Follow us on the socials. Yeah. Yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Send uh, send Alex some money and I'll give you feet pics. <laughs> Whose feet? Exactly. Yeah. It's a different foot every week. Surprise. Final thoughts. Uh, in this age where we've moved away from like schlocky slasher movies and we're into more slow burn dramatic A24 movies, Ooh. maybe it's time for like a revival of this series. Like, what 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 kind of comedic stupidity or brilliance can be wrought in well, this new age of horror. Okay, so like we did get the haunted house like spoofy movie. Yeah. That that was that was maybe like I want to say like 5 years ago now. Oh. That was probably like the last big horror spoof. I thought they made two. Did they make two? I think so. Fact check that. I think they made two. Um, but I remember it being good. At least the first one being good. Mm -hmm. Because it was made by the fucking yeah, the Wayans. Yeah. yeah. So, of course it was going to be good. Yeah, there were two. Wow. See, I'm right about stuff sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I just talk on my ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> just hope it lands. But, uh, yeah, the last one was in 2014. Okay. Yeah. But uh, that's we're now at six years without a, without a horror spoof comedy. Yeah, so yeah. please. Maybe it's time. Maybe, Maybe it's time. Maybe it is time. Yeah. But, uh, With all of this new content that we have out there, yeah, to definitely spoof off of. Maybe we can do it. I don't think we can. No, we can't do that. that. I'm not that funny. I'm pretty funny though. Oh. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. I make myself laugh. That's all that's important. That's all that matters. Yeah. As long as you are happy, that is all that fucking matters. I didn't say that. happy. Ah. And on that note. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye and good luck.